What is up you guys, Stevie here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys just a few things that I was gifted, some things that I picked up for the summertime, as well as some things that I have my eye on that is on my wish list. To be honest, I haven't really been that inspired by summer fashion lately. I feel like it's just kind of, you know, it is what it is, not my personal favorite. However, I wanted to make this video for you guys today to just kind of serve you as some sort of inspo if you are looking for things for the summertime and just so you guys can kind of see that one, I'm not always shopping, I'm not always buying a bunch of new stuff, and two, I love creating wishes videos because it kind of gives you guys an insight as to what I have my eye on for the particular season. As always, it gets chatty here. Do what you have to do. Grab a snack, grab a drink, and just kind of relax me for a bit. Hit the thumbs up button on this video right here and follow me on Instagram and TikTok so you guys can see more summer content and just like all of my other content all around. So without further ado, you know, rambling, let's dive into my pickups slash wish list for the summer 2023 season. First up on the list are these mock toe derbies, courtesy of the team over at Collegium. Shout out to my homie Nick for blessing me with these. These right here are going to be in my rotation, heavy for the summertime. I love this particular style of shoe right here, this like mock toe derby-esque situation, because I love how it kind of offers a little bit of everything. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. I love how the overall silhouette kind of reads a little bit more dressy, and it kind of reads a little bit like a loafer. However, the sole, in essence, just kind of looks like a regular sneaker, and so, as I mentioned, you can kind of do whatever it is that you want to do when it comes to styling with this one right here. Personally, for me, I feel like even though I could dress this up, I probably would just dress it down and keep it super casual. I'm thinking this, some cropped trousers, a basic tee tucked into it, a really nice hat, a bag, shades, and I'm good to go. They did come out with this shoe in other colors and other variations as well. So those are definitely bangers as well. But overall, 10 out of 10, definitely going to get a lot of wear out of this. And as you guys know, I love supporting my homies brands where I can. So if you haven't already, definitely be sure to check out Collegium. Check out this mock toe derby right here. Be sure to check out their brand as a whole because they have some amazing sneakers. They have apparel, they have accessories, all the good stuff. So check them out if you're interested. I have been loving anything green lately, and so when I saw this cap right here from Amelion Dor, this new era-esque style and silhouette, you already know what it is, I had to get it. For the real ones who follow me, I actually have the navy blue color in this particular style. I've been having that one, it's been like over a year now, and it's just, for lack of better words, just so fucked up and so trashed. And so, as I mentioned, I've just been loving green lately. I love supporting Amelion Dor where I can, and I feel like they do a really good job of kind of creating just a little bit more unique hats. And so for the summertime, I'm pretty much just always wearing a simple fit. So whether it's a really unique sneaker or a really unique accessory, such as like a hat, a pair of blue light glasses, frames, sunglasses, etc. That's kind of where I let my outfit shine a little bit more. And so this piece right here, this hat specifically is going to come in handy for, you know, the days when I'm just trying to be at my more casual flex. I'm not really trying to do too much, but I still want one particular piece of my outfit to, you know, come through with the vibes and be like that banger piece within my outfit and I have one particular outfit in mind that I'm really excited to shoot and drop and share with you guys so stay tuned for that but yeah nice little ALD flex you know can't go wrong with them by the time that you're watching this video my daughter is either going to be here already or she is very soon coming. Needless to say, it's just been such an exciting time for us. And needless to say, Nance has been working overtime. I have just been prepping all of my content, getting everything ready, and just making sure that I can kind of step away from work when my daughter does come through so that I don't leave my audience without any content. All the videos that you guys are seeing on YouTube, I'm like pre-filming them, pre-editing them, and just getting them ready. And so with that being said, I've been working overtime. And so I definitely needed a couple pairs of some new blue light glasses. These right here are from Aquila LA. In collaboration with an artist Keith Herring. Shout out to Aquila LA for sponsoring today's video and supporting my channel. You guys already know what it is. The real ones who watch me, I talk about Aquila LA all the time. I love their sunglasses, their blue light glasses, and just their frames in general. So if you guys are interested in checking out Aquila LA, I do have a discount code you guys can use to save some money. These are two frames right here, as I mentioned. They're both blue light glasses that I wanted to share with you guys. I'm always looking at a screen, whether it's like my laptop or my phone or even like my camera that I'm looking into right now. And so having a pair of really amazing blue light glasses such as these ones right here, these are called the Radiant. Again, in collaboration with Keith Herring, Aquila LA. This is what the frame looks like. And then this is what the limited edition kind of case and cover looks like right here. And then even though I like that pair, I actually like this one more. This is my personal favorite. This one right here, I believe is called the Paradise, yes. So this is just a classic, all clear frame. I love wearing frames like this when I'm working because you know it does the job, the blue light technology. And not 
to mention, I feel like it kind of elevates your outfit and it's a nice way to add another layer, so to speak, to your outfit without doing too much, all the while being super practical. I will leave these amazing blue light glasses, this one and the other one linked in the description box down below, along with my discount code typed out for you guys so you can use it. And shout out to Akila LA for helping me get a ton of work done before my daughter comes and most importantly, sponsoring this video, supporting my channel and just always showing me love. All right, so I have my laptop right here. So I have a handful of things that I have on my wish list for the summertime. The first couple things I wanna mention is actually something I would wear together like as a set. Let's talk about this cold Buxton crack leather trucker jacket as well as the cold Buxton crack leather shorts. You guys already know what it is, how I feel about cold Buxton, love them, love the brand, and I love pretty much everything that they do. As soon as I saw these drop on the cold Buxton Instagram, I was like, bruh these are so sick specifically the green colorway it's just so nice in my opinion you guys already know what it is if you've been watching like my recent videos regardless if it's summertime i've been really looking for a really nice oversized leather jacket of some sort and i love this kind of trucker silhouette that cold buxton did i love the green the more minimal tonal embossing that they did in the back which is like the buxton across the shoulder blades which is so nice in my opinion i love the silver hardware and i feel like at least from the photos it looks a little bit more oversized and boxy and cropped which i really like and then the matching shorts is just a cherry on top in my opinion there is no other brand that could have done this right besides Cole Buxton. So shout out to them and their team for, of course, killing it as per usual. These are the kind of pieces that make me excited for summer fashion. Granted, you probably, you're probably watching this and you're like, Stevie, what the fuck are you talking about? wearing leather for the summertime but if you're thinking that you should probably run that run that question to cold buxton as well because they're currently releasing this during the summertime so you know the real ones know if you know you know and if you don't all i gotta say is do your research but but anyways going back to the pieces the price tag for me personally is a little bit steep so i'm gonna have to either sell a couple things to get these or just kind of sit on them for a bit but overall 10 out of 10 pieces i I can't wait to see one of my peers style this or just kind of get more content from the Cold Bucks and boys because these are fire and these are definitely a banger. Let's talk about another brand that I've been really liking as of late about blank. These trousers, 10 out of 10, literally me in a trouser. I can't, I just can't stop looking at these and I'm so sick because they sold out. Obviously, you know, I wanted to support them where I could. So they dropped the stuff and then I was busy at the time of their drop. So I didn't immediately run to my laptop to get it. And now I regret it because it was sold out. So about blank, if you're watching this, much love for all the other stuff that you gave me. And if you could restock this so I can pay it with my own money and I can run you that check, please let me know. I love these trousers right here. The Ikru color is amazing. I love the kind of shoelace situation around the waist, the little details with the pockets, the little kind of embroidery situation that they always do. And exactly how it is styled here is exactly how I personally would do it as well. I love the kind of juxtaposition of adding a loafer and a sweatshirt to a crop trouser along with like that necktie detail. I just feel like the styling that they do is always 10 out of 10 for me. And be sure to check out my video from a week or two ago where I talk about my favorite brands for every budget because I mentioned about blank in that video right there. So at the beginning of the video, I mentioned the mock toe derbies from Collegium. And so that silhouette and that particular shoe within itself sparked something in me to just try new shoes for the summertime and just moving forward. I feel like I'm always the type of person, I'm always gravitating towards a really nice sneaker, a unique sneaker, a chunky sneaker. And those are all great options still in my humble opinion. But you know, I feel like it's time to switch it up. It's time to elevate and it's time to try new things. And so this pair of square toe brush leather derby shoes from Ami Paris definitely has my eye. I love the kind of more shiny-esque sort of leather that was used to create these shoes, the square toe, and not to mention the little casual flex with the Ami Paris sort of like emblem on the bottom of the sole. So fire. It's like those little details for me that really makes me want to get more special pieces like this. I have yet to see someone rock a outfit featuring a square toe loafer or derby or mock toe shoe of some sort and it actually and the outfit actually land and so i'm gonna take it upon myself to give it a try you know even though it is a bit of a steeper price tag i feel like i want to pull the trigger on them because they're just so nice and it's kind of one of those things that it's hard to it's it's hard to see stuff online and then pass up on it or just wait on it and then by the time kind of what happened with the about blank trousers i'm I fucked up and I waited too long and then it sold out. So, you know, I'm not even gonna ask if this is a cop or a drop because it's definitely a cop for me. It's just a matter of, I gotta go through my closet, see a couple things that I gotta get rid of first because I really do believe in like, one in two out so nonetheless these are so fire i'll be sure to leave these linked down below because if i end up not getting them please one of my followers please get these these are so fire
Last up on the list for this summer haul slash wish list is just a super unnecessary item. Let's talk about this Loewe hat in this really nice army green color. This hat right here, well, just in general, I've been on a really big Loewe kick lately. It, granted, it is a little bit unnecessary, but you know, like I said, to each their own, and this is why it is a wishlist video because these are just items that I have my eye on, but I don't necessarily know if I'm gonna put the trigger on them. I wanted to share this piece with you guys because I feel like a good trick, in my opinion, when it comes to tapping into designer brands and getting your foot wet with, with designer pieces, is you always wanna start off with something small like this, like a hat, a beanie, a ring, something that isn't too expensive and something that you can wear constantly with your other more affordable pieces that kind of just elevate your overall fit. So I could imagine myself wearing this Loewe hat with a H&M oversized basic tee, H&M crop trousers and fucking, I don't know, even like basic Walmart sneakers. But because my hat was from Loewe and you can clearly see the Loewe script on the top, as a outsider, if I saw uh, someone else wearing a fit like that, assuming the proportions was good and everything was fire, I would assume that everything else that they had on was designer. And so it's little tips and tricks like that that I really want, like, want you guys to take away from my videos. All right, you guys, and that is it for my summer haul slash wish list, featuring some items that I've just been either gravitating towards or wanting for the summertime. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Drop me some love in the comments down below. Let me know what you thought about the video. Let me know if there's anything else that you have on your wish list. Let me know if the items that I featured in today's video, if they're a cop or a drop. If you have any questions about the Aquila LA stuff, use my discount code if you want something from them. If you have any questions about the Collegiate Mock Derbies or the ALD hat, let me know Know. Definitely be sure to follow me over on Instagram and TikTok if you aren't already. I've just been trying to go super heavy with the content lately and just try to provide the best sort of aesthetics, outfits, and just overall vibes for you guys on social media. I've been doing this as a job for almost seven years now and it's just so crazy. I always try to evolve every single year. Hopefully you guys, you know, you see the evolution, you appreciate it, and hopefully, you know, for the real ones who've been with me since day one, hopefully you're still here. And I know you guys are because you guys are always in my DMs on Instagram. So shout out to you guys. Again, thank you so so much for watching and hopefully you enjoyed it and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.